cannot get to the path of all the other talks that we've been listening to without eliminating entitlement. There's nothing more important than not allowing your parents to have any leverage. I mean it. Parents give money because they want control. So my number one advice to millennials in the way that you asked it is to not rely on parents. And then number two, to quantify time. We actually have our whole lives backwards. You should be doing the most high risk, high reward work from 20 to 30. The problem is that's when everybody expects you to grow up. I think the unbelievable vulnerability in our ecosystem right now is people not being accountable for themselves. Are looking for CEOs, companies, other people, personalities, government, like just looking for somebody else to address something. That doesn't mean that there isn't a responsibility, but it's a slippery slope and I think everybody calibrates it differently. So much of what every single person in this audience cares deeply about trying to affect and so many of the characteristics that we are passionate about, whether it's empathy or kindness or gratitude, needs to have a remarkable conversation with ourselves around a word called entitlement. Entitlement is not privilege. Entitlement's a very important word for all of us because it is foundational in the starting point to all the other things we've been talking about over the last two days. Entitlement is also gonna be very difficult for all of us to talk about in this room because it means we have to look at ourselves, not look at the people that we're imposing it on. I take a lot of responsibility. As a matter of fact, the biggest issue I have as an operating uh, kind of executive is I think I create entitlement even though I hate it. I really do because I don't like negativity because I do kind of always look for the bright side because I do see an employee and be like, okay, maybe, oh, they're in accounting, but they suck at math. That was a bad idea, but maybe they can do this. You know, like I'm always on the offense of that and it does create a little bit of entitlement and Vayner had a little bit of a rough patch three years ago where I had to really let go of a significant 30, 40 people because I needed to reset and it was painful and everyone was like, fuck you, Gary, you said it was family and I was like, look, like my ultimate responsibility is to keep this thing alive, otherwise you're all gone. Like, and so I think that there is a sense of responsibility, but I do think the thing that we need to beat very loud is that people have to be responsible for themselves as well because there's an enormous amount of confusion around that issue. My friends, for us to look at this and understand what's actually happening, we have to understand that so many in today's society and long before social let us flex on each other, we did it by the things we wore, by the things we drove, by the stories we told at the PTA. Most, most people continue to parent their children based on what they think other people think of them, not by listening to their actual children. This is a very important conversation. We can